Welcome, Gun Runner. Everybody, Kieran O'Care the Loud here. And um, I've got a new book review for you today on this uh, bank holiday Easter weekend here in the UK. So, the book we're looking at today is the book of the game of the film by Jerry Ellis, as you can see. And uh, as soon as I saw this book announced, it was something that appealed to me straight away because I've always um, been a fan of games based on movies um, ever since growing up. The first full price game I ever bought was um, Robocop for the Spectrum. So there you go, just after I, I got my, my plus 2A. So, you know, I have a, a real connection with them. Um, movie based games purely for that reason really but uh, they're always something that I've um, loved and it's actually an idea that I thought about doing um, myself but unfortunately I was beaten to it so there we go so let's have a look so obviously it's, you can see straight away it's a hardcover book with a nice um, sleeve over the top of it with the iconic Rambo Commodore 64 image there on the front it's a kind of wide style coffee table book and it's quite thick as you can see here as well it's quite a big old thing um so what i'll do is we'll have a little look through it i'm obviously not going to go through the whole book because that would um one take ages and i don't want to spoil it all for you so really i'm just going to have a little flick through it so you can see what it's about so it's giving lots of people shout outs and it's numbered so you can see there actually i'm 162 of 250 I think I have to bring the camera out a little bit so you can see more of it. Uh, that work a bit better, yeah. So, uh, intro, contents, all the usual things you'd expect. And then it goes straight into it. And one thing I'm going to mention um, straight away is actually, you'll notice as I go through it, that, that um, actually it's not just film games in here. There are... Uh, games also that are based on TV shows. So uh, he's kind of gone for the whole thing, TV and and uh, film. But uh, to be honest, that's something I actually expected when I heard about it. So um, I'm sure it's the same. So we've got, yeah, we've got Poltergeist and Tron. So lots of games based on those. Um, we've got ET, we've got Star Trek. So it's going straight into some real big hitters here um, at the beginning, Chuck Norris and Porky's. You see, you know, each one you get a picture of the box art, you get screenshots. Some of these games obviously cover multiple formats, some of them just for one format. Um, but loads of loads of absolute classics. He's also done games in here as well that are just connected to uh, to movies rather than actually being um, maybe actual direct licenses. Like my name is Uncle Groucho. Um, obviously, that wasn't licensed in in any way. Um, whatsoever from um you know the the marx brothers and grouch show or, or any of them it was just a, a, a more a really a, a tribute it's one of mel crouch's many insane creations so i mean killer gorilla there obviously not based on a movie at all um it's actually a, a donkey kong clone but i suppose you could say that it was inspired by king kong so even looser connection there with that one so there's quite a few like that that have um pretty loose collect um connections to the to the originals uh, Bruce Lee, they're obviously a favourite of a lot of people. So, Quest for the Holy Grail, there again, and one with a, quite a loose connection. High Noon, obviously, was not officially licensed. Chiller certainly wasn't, so I think that's obviously because it was obviously a, a based on Thriller by Michael Jackson. But Alien, Rocky Horror Show, Conan, Rocky, obviously, plenty of James Bond films feature. Plenty of Disney games feature Goonies, Rambo, Blade Runner, Never Ending Story, Friday the 13th, um, Back to the Future, of course. I'm not actually sure why. I just noticed Kung Fu Masters there. I'm not really sure why that's that's there, to be honest. Um, read it says Into the Dragon, I suppose, but, hmm, but it wasn't really based on any film in particular, so that's quite a strange one to have. I mean, it's just a, a, a Kung Fu game, really, so. Top Gun, Return to Oz, uh, Space Camp, King Kong, 
We'll skip through it a little bit because I don't want to be here forever looking at it. Um, Howard the Duck. Uh, Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom, Death Wish 3. What have we got here? Empire Strikes Back. Obviously, lo loads of Star Wars games. Number 3, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I don't remember that. Was it an NES game? Or oh, Commodore 64. It's an Apple II there on the picture there. I don't remember that at all, though. I didn't know that game existed. There we go. Tom and Jerry and Jaws. Not my Elm Street Moonwalker. Predator 2. Elvira. The Adams Family. Die Hard. I mean, you name it, pretty much. Um, it's in here. So actually, it's gone there, um, part two. And it's saying his TV programs. So, Prisoner, Doctor Who. Terror Hawks, Danger Mouse. I think a lot of these um, are kind of more for the UK side. I mean, this is a book, obviously, that you know anyone around the world um, obviously would, would would enjoy in many ways because there's games coming from Japan, you know, America, everywhere. Um, where films are sort of known throughout the world, TV shows in this case are mostly, you know, sort of more UK based. I mean. Things like, you know, play your cards right there, you know, with Bruce Forsyth. Americans won't have a clue who Bruce Forsyth is. But then you've got others like Scooby Doo, obviously, which everyone would know. Elf there. East Enders see another, obviously, in Grange Hill, very um, UK centric ones. A Team, Run the Gauntlet. Real Ghostbusters, Monty Python. Captain Planet, Wacky Races. Joe uh, Joe Barbie. <laughs> uh, Gaza Super Soccer. So actually, that's a bit of a loose one, really, because that's actually not based on a TV show at all. It's based on a sports star. So he's kind of stretched it a little bit with that one. The Munch was based on a TV advert, believe it or not. It's actually, well, based on the character from the Chewit Sweets, but there is a series of TV adverts featuring that character. So again, it's a bit of a loose connection there. Um, and Pepsi and Spot, I mean, they're based on... Obviously, Pepsi, as in the drink, Pepsi and Spot, as in from 7-Up. So, again, not really TV. He's kind of stretched stretched it a little bit with those ones. Same with WF WrestleMania. I suppose it was a TV show as well, but really, WrestleMania is a sport, isn't it? Part four. So, I'll uh, say so books. Really there. Rupert, Charlie, Chocolate Factory. So it's gone into books as well, not just not just films and TV shows and things connected with TV, um, like the adverts and stuff. Uh, books. Well, that makes sense because obviously most of these books were turned into TV shows or, or stuff anyway. I mean, not a penny more. Jeffrey Archer, I think it was turned into a TV series. Oink was a comic. Garfield, Andy Cap. Comic strips originally, but they were turned into films and TV shows. Put your Avengers stuff there, Hero Quest, Space Crusade. Yeah, and there we go, really. So you can see it's a big old book. And uh, there's an advert for his other book, actually, um, 8 Bit Book as well. So, yes, let's, let's, let's sum up. So, this is the book of the game of the film by Jerry Ellis. Um, as always, I'll put a link down in the description below so you can see where to, to, to buy it. Um, and he's only made a limited number of these. So I suggest if you do want this book to pick it up as soon as possible because um, he did, he, he's only made a limited number and once they're sold out, they're sold out. I don't believe he's got plans to make any more. So, yeah, I would personally suggest picking this up as soon as possible because it's a big old thick book. Um, there's loads of reading in there because you could see that, you know, there's pretty big descriptions for each game. It, you know, where a lot of these style of books will be more about imagery less text certainly like um you know the sort of uh in pixels kind of books and stuff that you get um but this one is is there's a hell of a lot of writing in here um which is mostly for very good quality there's the odd little mistake and, and jerry's admitted it in, in his post in the forum that he's made a few minor errors there but you know i believe this is pretty much just him doing this you know off his own back so he didn't have a massive publisher behind him or anything supporting him so no, the little the little errors and mistakes are not something I'm particularly worried about, to be honest, um, at all. Uh, it's just really nice to see, um, you know, a book a book like this uh, come out, and you know, I thoroughly recommend it. It's a great book. I've, I've only read some of it, um, but I was quite keen to get this review out um, this weekend and, and get it seen by you all. And 
yeah i, I really do recommend it it's, it's it's a really good read it's a well done book it, it's so comprehensive it covers just about everything under the sun as you've probably seen it even stretches the limits a little bit in terms of um what it's looking at and uh yes yeah, so i said uh, you know i quite fancy doing a book um very similar to this myself it was something i'd thought about but even i don't think i would have done um as good a job um of covering the subject matter as as this man has right here so well done jerry um i recommend everyone buys your book and uh, i will uh, i hope you enjoyed my review and i'll see you all again for another one very soon thank you for watching bye bye